on. All right, today is New Year's Eve, 31st of Jan of uh, December 2010. And before I get ready to harvest some lettuce, I wanted to do an update video to kind of show where, show you where we're at. Um, these are the locking pulleys that I had talked about on the lighting system and allow me just to pull it and they uniformly um, move up and out of the way so I can actually get to the uh, get to the growth. As you, can, as you can see here, this lettuce, as I've talked about in the blog, about every other day we can harvest at least two salads. Now we haven't harvested for a few days here and you can just see the growth. This is absolutely incredible. Um, just real thick, bushy, very crisp. It looks great. There's no discoloration. There's no lack of nutrients showing up. The basil plant here in the back, this thing, I have kept the tops of this trimmed about every other day and it, it, it is just relentless. And as you notice, the leaves also, no signs whatsoever of any uh, nutrient deficiency. The nutrient solution I put in here in the, on the 20th of November, well over a month ago, it was full strength, the uh, CNS 17, full strength, 20 milliliters per gallon. Uh, and I am showing no, no deficiencies at all. I actually expected to do nutrient changes every two weeks on this. And I understood the lettuce is not real overly demanding on nutrients, but the basil at least but as you can see this is pretty incredible. I did I did drop a little bit of uh, mylar on the back side here just to kind of help reflect a little more light into into the system so that is kind of new. Um, but I'm going to go through and I'm going to do a little trimming here because we're going to have a couple of big salads. I just take this, this Simpson Elite lettuce, I kind of get underneath here, clip the stem, pull a big leaf off and just leave enough that's really covering up the up the silica, silica rocks. This thing reproduces so quick and sprouts, I swear, sometimes you can actually see it grow and we can leave and then come back home at night and I, and I know that it's, uh, it's produced that much more lettuce. So you can see just the one pod of which there's five of these produces a tremendous amount of lettuce. Some of the ones on the bottom that may not get enough light. You can see them a little bit lighter colored, but they're actually just as tasty. And that's kind of where I, I leave them on each individual plant. You can see underneath, right through here, how many times it's been cut and it just keeps pushing new leaves out. Um, as I said, every other day we have enough to harvest um, at least two salads worth or bacon lettuce tomato sandwiches let me get back here get this guy very big leaf I may have two full before I even get to get to the rest of these yeah, again I was fully expecting the uh, nutrient solution to need replacement at about the two week mark so far I don't see any signs I have gone in about every other day, add about a gallon of water, because just through normal transpiration, they are they are using um, the water itself, but no nutrient uh, changes. One thing I have done, a friend online, lift this up, show you these root mass. A friend online had noted that. Uh, he adds about a cap full of hydrogen peroxide once a week and that helps kill off any kind of potential uh, oh, potential fungus. I haven't seen any signs of it but it's more of a preventative measure and it does add a lot of oxygen to it. So okay you can see what we've already got. This is just off of those few plants. This is already at two very large salads and I haven't even really gotten through trimming all of these yet. As I wrote in the deep water culture post, this system here, this ebb and flow system is going to be used strictly for uh, herbs and spices once I get the deep water culture running. It'll have cilantro, spearmint, thyme, obviously some different, uh, different types of basil. This is lemon and this is, it, you can smell it right now. It, it's a, it, the incredible lemon smell. But this whole thing will be made for, for herbs. 
because with the ebb and flow, the nutrient usage for those herbs should be roughly the same, whereas the lettuce has taken so much less, I'm going to put these strictly in the deep water culture um, and let those go. And then that way we should time it to where we never have a gap in lettuce production. So until then, I'll see you on the next video.